Hi everyone and welcome back to the magnificent map of map making. So I've had a request on how to make a building automatically train units and when the building is destroyed that it doesn't train units anymore. Which is a reasonable request. You don't want a building to still train stuff after it's died because that's silly. So I'm going to make the orbital here automatically train mad marines as if we didn't have enough trouble with mad marines being everywhere already. So. I'd actually forgot I did a tutorial on warping in units. That's really cool. Anyway. <laughs> so we're going to hop straight into data. So what I've already started to do is, depending on what you're doing, you, may, you might want to make a brand new ability. But I'm kind of doing this a bit quickly and basically showing the, the core bits. That I have other videos that show you how to set up train abilities and stuff like that. So if you're unsure, please go back to those. So what I've done is I've added our Mad Marine to Command Center Train. Uh, next to the SCV. So train 2 is a mad marine. Uh, the unit is I've made a duplicate of our marine called the free mad marine and this is because what we're going to do is issue the command center with a order to train a mad marine periodically but because that's done properly as in it will literally do the order without you clicking the button it would normally cost money but I'm assuming for the map that this person is making they don't want to have to pay for the units that are being produced by their structure. So you set up a train command like you would and you make sure the cost of the unit you want to spawn is zero unless you want to charge for it. Next I've made an effect I believe called train train mad marine effect. This is an effect. This is an issue order effect. So I'll quickly go on to show you this. So the, literally the effect type is issue order and obviously the name and such can be whatever you like. And then you determine what the order is by telling the command what the ability is and what number. So the numbers here go zero, zero is one, one is two. So our mad marine train is on two of the orbital, well sorry, the command center build ability. So we want it to do number two, which is one. <laughs> if you're not following, I'm really sorry. <laughs> So that's that done. The next is the next thing we're going to do even is go into behaviors. We're going to create a new behavior called auto train buff. Now this is a buff and I'll show you quickly. You might not want this buff to be visible because by default buffs are visible when you click on a unit. I'm going to leave mine visible to show you it's on the unit. But uh, you can turn it off somewhere, which I believe is something like, is it show? Um, is it visible? Ah, okay. Somewhere, um, it might be easier actually in um, this view. There's a little yes or no to if you want it to be visible. Anyway, so um, this behavior is permanent. And the effect, I'm going to go into, the, I prefer doing everything in this, so the effect is going to need to go in two places. So the initial effect, so when the behavior is first given to the unit, and it is train mad marine, and the periodic effect. So this is a permanent buff, so we don't need anything on final because this isn't going to end. There we go. So the last thing, I've set the training time on the free Mad Marine to 30 seconds. So we're going to go to the um, period and set that to 30. So every 30 seconds one is produced and every 30 seconds another one is issued to be produced. And that is actually it. So the last thing we need to do, so which means it isn't actually it, I haven't done a video in a while, I do apologise, is to uh, go to our orbital command, which I've already modified, and go on behaviour. So behaviours, behaviours, behaviours. And these are behaviours that are added to the unit when it's created. So when the map loads or when it's built, so on and so forth. So I'm going to put... Oh, uh, what did I call it? Oh no, did not end it in buff. Hmm. 
I forgot what I called it. Oh, auto, oh, auto train buff, wasn't it? There we go. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to test this. What I haven't done is gave it a button, but I believe the game should be able to kind of do it without a button. But you can add, you can still add a button. But uh, let's have a look. We're loading the magnificent map of map making. It shouldn't take too long. Okay, we're back in the room. So, first of all, auto train buff. Oh, I haven't. <laughs> my actors might be slightly off. Anyway, the orbital command is training something that takes 30 seconds. I'm going to put the game speed up. And we should see there's a Mad Marine and it's training again. We have no money. This is a Mad Marine with the Mad Cannon. I forgot I made this. The epic explosions. Boom. Boom. There we go. Another one. And we can set the, the rally point and stuff. Very good. So everything is working. And uh, I hope that helped. So as I said, that is somewhere in the behavior there is a, uh, a tab or a tick box or a yes and no um, about the auto train buff being visible. That's my phone. But um, you should be able to find that. It shouldn't be too bad. So I hope this has helped whoever wanted it. And uh, I shall see you guys for the next one. Thank you very much. Goodbye.